Good morning, everyone. Good morning. morning. You got me, Gary. Okay. Um, Well, uh, just to emphasize, you know, in the um, um, mission committee and the mission uh, uh, trip that we have so far, you know, to to the best country in the world. Oh, sorry, you know, to Mexico, to Culiacan. Uh, you just, we just uh, buy the ticket. We buy four tickets already uh, to go in there. Um, still, uh, still more tickets. You wanna, you wanna come? You wanna join us? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Okay? You could. Uh, uh, we live in on the 19th to the 26th. Okay? So, could come and join us. Okay? We wanna pray. Uh, I wanna pray for. Uh, for the situation, you know, that happened in, uh, uh, around, you know, with the COVID situation that we think that we're already over and then now getting high and then, you know, come on, like that. Um, and also for the families of the week, we have here Marlene and Jolene uh, Nystrom and the whole family, okay? When, uh, this is the family of the week, so please, you know, be with them or talk to them or pray for them during the week. Also for uh, Beauty Poe, okay? So I want to pray for them, but also for the situation. And, and sometimes, even though we're not sick, um, it's a lot of like, attention. You know, the people you know, around, they close the, the, um, the schools. And, and um, also, uh, my kid, you know, start having some uh, coughing. And it's like, oh, no, again. But we went to the... To the uh, Doctor, and then they do the test. They say no, it's strep throat, strep throat, yeah, something like that. So yeah, but the, you don't know when it's already like like that. You know, you're kind of like a, uh, even the you're not sick, you always you know like that. So we want to pray for that. You know, that God, you know, giving us comfort and and uh, help us with that. You know, could each of us you know react differently. And and uh, and the thing that I want to touch today. Is, is how can we react, you know, with different things. So anyway, I want to pray. Um, Father, I want to pray for all the people who are here, all the people who could make it, uh, and uh, uh, that you prepare the heart also for the people who are kind of seeing us through, through the Internet. Um, we pray for them, and, uh, and that for some reason they couldn't come. Um, you know, please be with them, you know, be with us. Touch your heart, be with them, touch your heart, and, and then we could uh, uh, be together um, and do your will. Um, also, with this uh, situation with the, with the COVID, that you take control, and uh, we understand that each of us have a different point of view or different uh, way to action, and, and we want you know, the people we agree with us, <laughs> but sometimes it's not like that. So you just be patient. Uh, we could be patient. Uh, we could have a, those... Uh, uh, fruit of the spirit, the uh, fruit of the spirit that, that we need, you know, to deal with these things. So we need you, God, and um, we we want to do your will um, in this situation. Also for the uh, family of the week, that no, we only not praying today, but uh, we start praying, you know, during the week, and and they could feel um, um, grabbing, you know, for you. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen. Okay. Well, we wanna we wanna be back to the Acts book, and because uh, last time we talked about this was a uh, few was last year, <laughs> a few weeks ago. Um, I wanna give you a little summary so those ones who's kind of like eh, where we where we are, eh, where we. But um, we are in uh, Acts 11, okay. But the main thing in Acts is these uh, uh, verses in the Bible, this Act 1-8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So, so the book of Acts, you know, starts like this. Acts 1. Then later... We started, you know, talking about, you know, Acts 2, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, come at the Pentecost, and then Peter addressed the crowd and, and, and the church born, okay? And in that time, before P- 
Peter uh, uh, shared um, was only 120. 120 uh, uh, disciples who was in one place. Okay, that's the, the starting. 120, and then uh, as soon as uh, Peter uh, shared, was 3,000, and then multiply and multiply. So now it's a big deal, okay? And we are now, we are only in the, in the Acts 11. So in the Acts 3, say Peter healed a lame man, okay? In Acts 4, Peter and, Peter and John, okay, versus the religious leader. Remember the Sanhedrin, okay, all the religious leaders. Um, uh, Act 5 is uh, Ananias and Sapphira. Act 7 is the stoning of Stephen. Sorry, Act 6 is the choosing of the seven. One of those seven was Stephen and Philip. And uh, Act 7 is the uh, stoning of Stephen. Act 8 is the church persecuted and spread out. And Philip, you know, go to Samaria. Those of the seven was Stephen and was Philip. Acts 9 is uh, Saul's conversion, okay? And the last time that we talk about, ah, uh, we talk about Acts 10. And in that is when Peter go to Cornelius' house, okay? It's Acts 10. So we're in that time right now. You know, Acts 10, uh, um, uh, uh, Peter, you know, have a vision, okay? So then uh, the vision was uh, um, uh, kosher and non-kosher, food, okay, to him and say, you know, kill and eat. And, uh, and then Peter said, no, 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 I don't want to, I never eat something non unclean. And he said, no, don't, don't say it's unclean if I say it's clean, okay? Something that I clean, don't say it's unclean. And it happened three times, okay? And, it's, and, and in that uh, story, they say it twice in Acts 10. And they repeat it in Acts 11. And we want to go there, you know, uh, about what happened in that situation, okay? Okay, so we want to go to, we want to start with Acts 11, 1 to 3. And what is happening? You know, after uh, the Gentiles in the Cornelius house uh, being full, being, uh, received the Holy Spirit, and everything was like, a, wow, was, was great, you know, that's awesome. The, the change the mindset of, of, uh, of Peter in this thing with the God is guiding him, okay, with that vision, guiding him to bring the gospel to the Gentiles, okay? But now you need to understand that the only people who was there was seven Jews, okay? Was Peter and six more who came from uh, uh, the house of the Simon, the tanner, okay? They go all the way to Caesarea, and they're right now over there. Then from Caesarea, they go back to Jerusalem. And when the seven arrived to Jerusalem, what has been happening? And then disappear. Acts, 1, uh, Acts 11, 1 to 3. He says, the apostles and the believers through Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of, the, of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, you went into the house of uncircumcised men and ate with them? So Peter go do what the, the, the Lord, what the God, you know, tell him to do. And when he's coming back to Jerusalem, now the other apostle and the other disciples was criticizing him. Like, a, really? Really, what are you doing? Okay. Why, why do you do that? Okay. So, so like, wait a minute, they're not doing God's job. You know, a, a, an angel, uh, you know, was appearing and, and I'm trying to do what the God told me to do. But these people, he wasn't happy. Um, I would say, uh, you know, the apostle, uh, uh, they didn't understand. The apostle who was uh, criticized Peter, they didn't understand why he was entered to that house. And not only entered to that house, that is Cornelius' house, but also eat with them. It's like, a, why do you do that? 
Um, in some uh, way of thinking, you know, the, 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 the disciples uh, said to the Peter, you, you are supposed to be a faithful Jew. And you associate with Gentiles and even ate with them? This offends these Christian Jews. So they contend with Peter. They didn't agree what the Peter was doing. They focused more in what um, the tradition, you know, says instead of what that God says. And they was angry about it. They're like, why do you do that? You shouldn't do that. Okay? And then Peter, you know, being Peter, we want to check how Peter uh, uh, um, take, take this, okay? But I want to ask, you know, before I continue, I want to ask, have you ever tried to do something good and, uh, and, and was taken in a wrong way? Have you ever tried to do something, you know, good for some others and it's taken in a wrong way? I think all of us, you know, have that kind of situation. Um, uh, some, you know, one time I was uh, in, uh, in Waiwan, and then uh, I just arrived from Mexico, okay? So I didn't understand so much, you know, the culture here. So I like sports. So then I, there was a hockey, you know, who was being on the TV. I don't know anything about so- hockey. I don't know the rules in that time. I don't, you know, see hockey, they don't pass in the TV in Mexico, so I, I don't know. So, so, but there's a, a person who, who is a neighbor, live in front of my house, in this quad apartment, in front of my house, who he loves hockey. But he doesn't have a uh, uh, um, uh, DirecTV, okay? And in that time, I had DirecTV, so like, a, oh, I wanna make you a favor, okay? I wanna go over there, invite this guy to be in my house, he could he, he's hockey, you know, the wild gonna play, so you're going to see the game, and then it doesn't matter if I don't understand. Maybe he could explain, but for me, the only thing that I want is to have a relationship with him, okay? This is what I was thinking. So then I go over there, knock the door, and then he opens the door, and he says, uh, and I say, hey, you know, the wife's playing right now. You want to come and see it? Okay, and we have some, you know, uh, things to eat and, you know, have fun. And he say, oh, no, um, I'm, I'm reading, Okay, and then and then he closed the door. So then, like, a, okay. So then I go back to my house, and I'm trying to understand what is happening. In my mind, was reading for him is better to spend time with me. Okay, number two is reading. Really, reading is more important to watch a game. Well, for someone, yes. Okay, but. I was thinking in myself. And I got, really? Oh, man. So since that time, I don't want to be close to that guy because he rejected me. Okay? The thing that I don't understand, I don't have the whole package, the whole information. The reason why he's reading is because he was a study in battle. Okay? And he to read because he need to uh, uh, put his um, uh, um, I said homework, okay, to give, to essay, okay, to give. But he didn't explain to me. He just said, I'm reading. So I take it in a wrong way, okay? And since that time, without one, even though we're working the same organization, we work in Y1 together, was a barrier between him and I. That when something's going to get together, I prefer not to join and not to because he don't want to spend time with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay? I see this situation as a rejection, you know, for me. Maybe it wasn't like that, but I take it that way. And of course, the guy downstairs, okay, is happy with this. <laughs> so, wait a minute. I try to do, I don't even like hockey, Okay? Sometimes I, I watch uh, um, uh, not only hockey, but I watch with the people from South Africa. I, I watch rugby. I don't understand either, but I watch with them because I want to have fun. Uh, cricket, you know, handball. <laughs> you know, people from Norway, they really like, you know, handball, and I didn't know that. 
So I watch sports, but only because having fun with the people is more, the, more important the people than even the game. But when he do that to me, then I put a barrier, and I don't have a relationship. I don't want a relationship with him. Not, not only, I, want, I don't want to try at all. And then I miss to have this relationship with him. Then he left, and I was thinking, that's okay. Then later, I'll be, I understand, you know, why he said that to me, but he didn't explain. So I was like, oh, okay. I missed the opportunity because of my, glass, my glasses or my, or my understanding of the situation. Okay? So things like that happen in the, in the church. Okay? Happen with the relations. You, you, you do something, think you do something good, it doesn't go the best way, and then what do you think? It's the last time that I do this. Or, I don't never want to sign for this. Or, I don't want to give my point of view. Or, you name it. But those things happen when we're around. Because we're thinking, wait a minute, I'm trying to do my best. I don't to do my best idea, my best thing, and doesn't take it? Oh, man. I don't want to do it again. Is that part for your mind sometimes? <laughs> when that happened? I don't want to do it again. Why? I have to. And, and you don't even talk about it. You just leave it like that, get your information through your glasses, okay, and leave. And in that situation, you never talk about it, okay? Um, it become like a barrier between you and that person, or a barrier between you and that group of people, or between barrier of you and that church. Okay, sometimes it's like that. How many people you know was here in the church that it wasn't with us today? Maybe that happened. Maybe not a problem with God. Maybe a problem with somebody else. And that happened. Okay, and this thing happened also twenty. Uh, 2,000 years ago, okay? It's happening to, 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 to uh, uh, Peter. He say, wait a minute, you know, I'm doing my best, you know, to do God's will, and then now I'll be criticized, and in not being criticized by, by the Sanhedrin, okay, the, the leaders of the Jews. No, no, no. He's being criticized for the people that helped him, okay? The other people who were with him, it wasn't criticized for people because we could do something and we criticize for people outside, yes. But it, is, it wasn't the case. The people who criticized Peter in this was people who worked with him, who was offended by the thing that he's doing. Okay? So in that mindset, you know, we want to continue with this story about what does I want you to think how Peter could feel about this thing. Okay, and, 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 and compare how you feel if that happened to you. Okay, um, um, Peter, instead of uh, saying, okay, wait a minute, I don't need to give an explanation to you. Okay, I have a relationship with God. I don't need to give any explanation to all of you. Also, I want you to understand that I'm the Pope. <laughs> okay, I'm the Apostle Peter. I don't need to give you any explanation. It's what it is, and that's it. You don't like it? The door is wide open. He, don't, he, that, he didn't do that. He was thinking, like, wait a minute. You know, I need to think twice in this thing, okay? And what does he's going to do? So I want to let you know that you could do things for God and still be criticized. Now, when I give you the example of me and the other guy that I invite, you know, uh, 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 to see hockey. An angel doesn't appear to me and say, invite him. No, it wasn't like that, okay? <laughs> I don't want to compare what happened to Peter but what happened to me, okay? I'm just saying an example of when we're trying to do something good and doesn't go in to the right way, okay? But in this case, in this case, Peter was doing what that girl um, tell him to do. He was obeying God. Okay? So, you could do things for God and still be criticized. You want to be people who doesn't be agree with that. Okay? And, and no people like outsiders, no. People 
who is supposed to be working with you or be part of what it is you want, you're going to do. That, that, that's, that's happening. But what happened with, uh, with Peter? Peter, in Acts 11.4, he say, okay, I want to explain. I don't want to say, you know, I'm Peter. I don't need to explain anything. You know, figure it out. Read, read Acts, you know, when uh, Luke finished writing, okay, and then figure out what happened. No, he go and talk to them and explain everything since the beginning. Okay, so you start from the beginning. Peter told them the whole story. They say, you know, I was in the, with the Simon Tanner, okay, uh, then I have a vision. Then uh, after the vision, these three men come to my, to my place, to the, to the place that I was, and then I go with them to Caesarea to, to this uh, uh, man named Cornelius. And then Cornelius invited me to uh, go into this house, and, and he explained me that the angel of the Lord appeared to him at his house. And I was thinking, wait a minute. If the angel of the Lord was in his house, why I can be in his house? Okay? So he explained the whole thing with details to these people, even though he was right. He was doing what that God is telling him to do. So something we need to learn also is when we are criticized for something that we're trying to do, we're trying to do help, and sometimes we put not only like a, just invite someone, you know, to our house and, you know, they didn't come like happened to me. No. You could put money, time, and effort in something and still be criticized. Okay? It, it, it could be time consuming, but still be criticized. You know, one time I was, uh, I was in the leadership in an in, in organization. And and we decide to we wanna have a, a some kind of a, a teachings, and then I go and prepare myself, you know, and then I have a, you know training to do these teachings. Well, the 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 people on the on the on the leaders they agree, okay. So then when I start giving the teaching, I feel like a little like a like an opposite, like a, the people don't even get it, like a, what, what's wrong. Well, I didn't know the people who was taking, you know, the, who wasn't in the leadership, who was taking these uh, uh, teachings, they're not agree. They wasn't agree. They never agree. It's the leaders take this decision. I wasn't agree. I don't want to follow. And not only that, they get together with another person who think the same like them. <laughs> okay? And then it getting more and getting more to go into that side. When I find out this one, how did I feel? How I feel? Like, really? I put money for this training, or my money for my, for my, for my uh, uh, wallet. I put money. I need to go to, you know, to, to get this training. I come and try to give it to you, and, and then you don't like it? And not only that, that okay, you don't like it, but you give it the opportunity to do it? And only that, if you are not agree with that, why don't you come with me and let me know what, what is the thing and maybe we could talk about it. No, you don't come with me. You just go find two or three who are the same what you're thinking and trying to make it something opposite. And I say, I don't want to continue with this. Why do I need to continue? Let's work for me. I don't want to work, you know, to go against that kind of, you know, mentality. The situation was... Like a, those person who wasn't agree because they have a different ideas to do, but because they wasn't in the, in the circle of, of making decisions, okay, they couldn't give it. So they was angry that ideas doesn't take, and then my idea, you know, take. So it was like that, but all of us trying to do what is the best for the organization, using a different way of thinking. When that happened to me, I said, like, I don't, don't want to do this. And I was disappointed. And all the people who was, you know, on my back, you know, talking, I said, I don't want to be your friends, you know, because there, there's, I don't like that. When I didn't realize that the other ones want the best for the organization, too. Not only me, but sometimes when we are 
I remember, you know, when we are in the, when we're not in the, in the leadership, we thinking that, oh, if I be in the leadership, I want to do a better job. <laughs> and then when we're in the, in the leadership, it's like, oh, when I'm in the, you know, it's, it's really hard. So this kind of thing happening again and again. But it's the feeling that we have, okay? So the enemy trying to work with that to make walls instead of bridges. Okay? What happened next? After, after uh, um, uh, Peter explained everything to them, he don't let his pride get in the way. Peter says, yeah, I want to explain to you the whole thing, okay? I don't want to say, yes, I'm Peter. You can say anything to me. Okay, oh, I don't want to say, look, this is Peter, you know, happened to me. So everybody now want to do the same thing like I'm doing because, you know, I'm closer to God. So you need to follow me. He doesn't say that. He just say, you know, this is what the vision that I have. This is what the, the Lord told me to do. I just obeying. Okay? And understanding that it was hard for him in the beginning and understanding that the vision that he had, the other, the other disciples didn't have that vision. So he needed to explain the whole thing. Okay? The, the experience was with Peter, but the other one who was in Jerusalem don't, don't have that kind of vision that Peter had. Okay? So he needed to explain to them. Now, who does, who does um, uh, Peter explain? Explain to those one who wants to do the best. Okay? Those one who want to follow Jesus. He, he, does, he go to the, the Christian Jew. Okay? The Christian Jew, he was, he was doing, explaining to them. Okay? Not to all people around. No, those people who are supposed to be going to do the same thing, working together, he come and explain everything because he says... They didn't experience what I experienced. So I want to let them know what happened. Okay? If we let our pride, okay, to be in the middle, you know, that happened to me, <laughs> okay? When you let your pride say, wait a minute, okay, I'm not enough for you, okay? So you don't want to be to my house, okay? I, I, I put a wall without knowing that was my pride instead of understanding and ask more questions. So I lost the opportunity to have a, a relationship with somebody else because my pride was in the middle. Don't let our pride, you know, be in the middle. Let's uh, learn from Peter that Peter doing what does God tell him to do. <laughs> Peter obeying God's will he was humble and don't let his pride be on the way. He explained everything to them because he understand that was hard for them to understand. He didn't understand. He didn't, you know, have that kind of vision or, or experience that they that they been having. So if we misunderstand what we think that we're doing, let's explain it. Instead of saying, oh, I forgot it. No, oh, just forget. Eh, forget it. That's okay. Oh, you know, I want to... No, no, that's okay. No, forget it. When we have that attitude, it, 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 the thing's not going to go together. Okay? What happened next? When... Uh, and it's so smart, you know, <laughs> Peter. I don't know. He, he knows that he's going to have a kind of problem later on. So he bring. Six men, okay, in the Acts 11 to 12, say, the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered to the man's house. Okay, what is happening here? He, he's telling them that, I say, you know, uh, the Spirit told me to go with the three person who was at the door in the uh, Simon the Tanner. In the house of Simon the Tanner, these three persons, uh, they, they, the Lord told me to go with them. But I don't go by myself. I bring these six men with me. Okay? This one that you see over here, these six brothers also went with me. And the seven of us get into 
Cornelius' house. Okay? So what's really smart? <laughs> like a bring with them people, okay, who have that kind of experience also. So another thing that I, we could learn from here, you want to do something good, you know, maybe for, uh, for the community, for the church, or for something, find some others, okay? Find a group, okay, and, and, and do it together, okay? Sometimes we think that we're the Lone Ranger, yeah, Lone Ranger, Ya no solitario, ya, the Lone Ranger, that I could do by myself, and I could do it, and it's good, they, 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 they figure out, they understand in the end that it's good. So no, trying to find others. What God wants to work with others. When you do your own decisions, when you do everything that yourself, you don't want to explain anything, any, anything, they say, no, me and God. And, and, and they say, oh, because I have a good relationship with God. If you have good relationship with God, you also have good relationship with others. If you don't have good relationship with others, don't say you have a good relationship with God. Because it's, 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 it doesn't match. Okay? You get good with others when you go with, good with God. Because we want to guide you to have good with others. This is the cross. Okay? It's good with God and good with others. So when you have good with God, you could be good with others. When you are not good with God, it's difficult to be good with others. Is is you know I I normally you know happen to me that when I I remember when I do my quiet time I you know, spend time with him is is the things will go better with others okay especially with my wife but if I don't have time with the Lord or I don't have a a, a, a time with him collection with him the things getting a little bit harder and harder. Okay, everything is, is like a, well, everything is like a, it's a big deal. Everything is a big deal. So then when you go to the point like a, hmm, I know why. <laughs> uh, when was the last time that you spent time with God? When the last time that you go to the Bible to be with him? When do you spend, you know, those time, you know, with God? When that doesn't happen, you have a less, the fuse is short with others. And especially for people closer to us. Okay, my kids, my wife, they know better than the other ones, okay? So I want to let you know that, that as much as we have a time with him, we could have more of a relationship with others. So then Peter, you know, bring these men and say, look, look, they, they, they experienced the same thing, okay? It wasn't only me, okay? It was them too. And then what else in uh, Acts 11, 15 to 17. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came on them as he had come on us at the beginning. Then I remember what the Lord had said. John the Baptist, John, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So, if God give them the same gift he gave to us who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could stand in God's way? What happened here is uh, Peter explained to them, you know, when I was, start talking, you know, when I started with my sermon, you know, with my preaching, then the Holy Spirit be on them. And like, oh, wow. So they say, if, if, if God give them the same gift, who give it to us? So I don't want to be in the middle. I don't want to be in the middle. So the other uh, people uh, who was kind of criticize him started getting it, okay? When, when, in the beginning when Peter says, yes, you know, we get into the Cornelius house. And they say, oh, now, now you, you're accepting that, you, that you're doing bad things. You know, you're accepting it. No, 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 no. Let me explain the whole thing. <laughs> okay? So then when he accept, when he uh, start telling all this kind of thing, then they get it. The other disciples who was criticizing Peter get it. Because Peter not only says, that happened to me. Okay, it happened to me, should be a rule for everyone. He go through the Bible 
And it says, you know, remember what does, you know, Jesus says? Okay, remember what it says that, that John is going to be baptized us with water? Okay, and what is this one? Okay, no. With water, what is it? Yeah, John, okay, it's over here. <laughs> John be baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When Peter says this, he's going to the Bible. He's going to know what I say. You know what I say is what he says. Okay? Sometimes we're trying to go and say, well, I have the experience. You know, you need to understand that. It not happen to me. It should be happening to everyone. No, 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 no. Let's go to the Bible and see what he says. As many people say, oh, I do this, I do that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's... Let's put the Bible as a, as a uh, I don't know, when you, you have a, um, you're cooking and you have the pasta and you need to throw the water and then you put this one in, uh, how do you call this? The, the water and then, and then the pasta gets here but the water come out? Strainer. strainer, okay? Not drainer, strainer. So you need to use the Bible as a strainer for whatever you want to say or you want to explain to others. Okay? If, there, if this thing pass, what is what the God says? God says. If this stands here, then you, you know, throw it away. You understand what I'm saying? Peter says, now I remember, okay? I, oh, sorry. Then I remember, okay, what the Lord says. Said, Oh, oh, so he's here over here. So what do they? What happened with them? When they hear that, uh, Peter explained the whole thing. Then they say, you know, this happened to me, but not only to me. You know, these uh, have witnesses with me. You know, these six brothers. What happened then? Acts eleven eighteen. When they heard this, they had no further objection, and praise God. Saying, so then even, the, even to the Gentiles, God had granted repentance that leads to life. So just imagine, you know, after Peter explained the whole thing, then was silence. And, and I don't know, maybe, you know, here in a, in, a, in a culture that is more Scandinavian culture, silence is not a big deal, okay? <laughs> it could be silence. But if you go to Mexico, okay, or in a warm culture environment, silence is not good. Silence is like a, sometimes the people are thinking that they need to feel that silence, you know, spot. And it's always noisy, okay? When I was uh, in Jerusalem, oh, there's, they're like talking and talking and talking. So imagine these Christian Jews to be silent. <laughs> it's like a, what they was thinking, like, a, oh. They start thinking in what the Peter says. And they say, wow, okay, wow. They come to a unity. They figure out that an experience that Peter had because of the Lord. And they were willing to, instead of saying, no, it's bad, and, 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 and to be uh, attached to the, to the tradition and say, no, 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 you do that, I'm not going to do that. Like, no, 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 they was teach, they, they, they will have a, a heart that was teaching heart. And they say, oh, wow, that happened, I want to embrace it too. And that happened, the unity. Now the Christian you understand what the Gentiles mean for God. You know what the Gentiles mean for them, okay? <laughs> because it was need a process, but they understand what the Gentile means for God. And that's when the unity comes. When first they have a problem, okay? What's a problem? But then they be able to explain. And they say, oh, wow, makes sense. And then they bring, you know, the Bible and say, you know, I remember, you know, the Bible says this. They're like, oh, wow. Okay, now, now we're in agreement. Now we understand that 
us, you know, trying to obtain the same thing. We're trying to do the good things together. Just sometimes we have wire, different wire in our, in our brain, and we think differently. And then when they was silence, they understand now there was unity to come to that place. And all the things that happened before, they're worth it for this unity. Because you will see in the next chapters, okay, what happened with that unity. Okay? The point number three says, unity is worth the extra effort. It's good to work in that. Instead of saying, oh, it happened you know, a long time ago, you know, yeah, forget it. But if, if you don't see that person the same way, it's, you know, things, you know, inside. There's things that you need to, you know, talk about. Or things that you see as a victim that, that it was unfair, you know, what the people do to you or things like that. You know, it's, it's okay to, to, to bring it on, you know, to, to, to heal or at least, you know, to go to, to the Lord. But you need to do something with it. Because the unity is way more important than our differences. God created us different. To us. Each of us, we are different. Well, and depend on what we do since we're born until now, we have more stuff. <laughs> we put more stuff. So we have a different point of view. And the thing that God wants is to use this different point of view to help each other to obtain things together in a better way. No, to use this point of view, different point of view, to get another person who put the thing be all oh, this is me against them. <laughs> no, it wants that we put everything on the table. And they will work together to obtain something. And you will see, okay, in, 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 this, in this act book, in the book of Acts, what coming after this unity, after this understanding. Okay? So, I'm going, well, let's pray. Father, I want to tell you thank you, you know, for uh, uh, being able to to spread us with us, you know, to, to put, to bring this, you know, personal perspective, you know, with the, with the life of uh, Peter in, uh, in this uh, passage. I want you to uh, think in us and, and, and work in us. If there's something that, that, we, that we feel like uh, we're trying to do good and it's taken in a bad way, um, uh, that, that you could uh, guide us, you know, to heal. You want us to be better with you, to have a better relationship with you. And, um, and sometimes, you know, we're, we kind of grab these things and we don't want to let them go. Um, please, you know, work in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, can you stand up for the benediction? That's okay. Um, or, Heavenly Father, we bring this service to a close. Before we leave, we pause to think of our members who are experiencing difficult times. Give them their uh, families the strength and courage. In the name of Jesus, amen.